there's some very interesting news that is developing at the Las Vegas Raiders camp. You know, Brandon Parker has been getting those first team reps, and behind Brandon Parker, it was Alex Leatherwood. And we knew that Jermaine Illuminor and Theron Munford were also kind of competing at that right tackle position. But things have shifted today. According to Vincent Bonsignor, uh, there were times today during the second half of Raiders practice in which Thayer Munford, the rookie, was getting snaps with the first and second team that normally would have went to Alex Leatherwood. That is kind of interesting. I want you guys to think about what this means. Alex Leatherwood has came into camp practicing that right tackle position, being a guy that was 100% committed, put in all the effort and work and all those good things, and apparently he got jumped by a rookie. And this may just be something the coaching staff wanted to try out. This may not mean a whole lot. In fact, the Raiders didn't even have pads on today. But the fact that the Raiders coaching staff still put their Munford out there. Remember, when you get out there and you're playing with first string guys going up against guys like Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, pads or not, you still have to be there from a developmental perspective in terms of the game speed. I don't know how much this really means because I think you still have to go out there and prove it. And Thayer Munford's a guy who really hasn't proven it, at least in my opinion, in terms of watching his tape. But keep in mind, this scheme and system does fit Thayer Munford very well. And another thing that someone tagged me in recently uh, was this picture. And I'm going to zoom in on this picture here. But look at this picture right here. This uh, I, I don't know exactly where this picture was taken from. I don't know if this picture was posted somewhere. But you see Alex Leatherwood. He doesn't have his pads on. Um, likely because he, you know, camp was pro or uh, practice was probably already over at this point. But... This is Alex Leatherwood right here. This is not the same guy that looked super built well, super explosive uh, in some of his workouts. Like, he looks more so of a guard here than he does a tackle, which is kind of interesting. I mean, is Alex Leatherwood not in good shape? I want you guys to think about that. Because today, Thayer Munford has apparently jumped Alex Leatherwood. And again, it may mean absolutely nothing. Right? There's a strong possibility that Alex Sutherwood will still end up getting his fair shot at the right tackle position. But we've talked about this before. The fact that Bryden Parker is taking those first string reps kind of tells you what the coaching staff thinks about these guys. And truth be told, if Alex Sutherwood is not a good right tackle, if the coaching staff would rather have their month for be the backup right tackle, the second string guy over Alex Sutherwood, then they should just make Leatherwood a full-time right guard. And if Alex Leatherwood can't beat out Lester Cotton, what the hell is the reason of even keeping this guy on the roster at that point? Just trade him for whatever you may be able to get for him. I'm sure there are still teams out there that feel they can develop Alex Leatherwood. But the fact that he may not be the starter at any of the right guard or right tackle positions and a guy in Lester Cotton may beat him out, it actually kind of worries me, to be honest. You know, I am a fan of, Les, uh, of Alex Sutherwood, and I do think he can absolutely get better, but that image where he doesn't really look built like a tackle kind of is concerning. Um, at the same time, how is he not being able to take those reps away from Theron Munford, right? Again, it may mean nothing, but I want to know what you guys think, man. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.